guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title, we are officially in the Northern Territory and we are heading to Allaroo. Yes, crossed over last night and we pretty much did from Cooper PD to an hour out of Uluru last night. So a very long drive. Not didn't stop. even stop for lunch. So that's why you didn't hear from us last night because we were a bit hangry when we rocked up to camp. Well, it was a good free camp and now we're heading in and we're so excited because we just saw Mount Connor as the sun was setting last night and that was yeah. incredible. So it we just cannot wait to see Uluru now. Yeah. So we're just coming up to a flag on wiki camps that says it's the first glimpse of Uluru and we can see it <laughs> and it looks incredible. It is next. It's massive. I thought that. I don't know what I was expecting but not that. All right we have made it guys. It is <laughs> it's the best feeling in the world. We've finally done it eh? We have finally made it to Uluru. It's a very very special day. It's been so high on our bucket list, so. Everyone always says that Uluru is a place that you have to experience. Like, you have to do, like, what's the word? <laughs> you you gotta, have to, gotta get there to experience yeah. it, probably. So we're just so excited. Oh my God, I cannot wait to get close to it and really experience it. I wanna take this so slow and just, it's gonna be the best day ever. Not too slow though, cause um, we paid $60 for one night in the caravan <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. Alright guys, we have made it and you can see it behind us. It is spectacular and it is not an Instaverse reality kind of thing. It really, it's, well, it's happening. it's the opposite because it's even better than what you see It online. is, you, you can't, yeah, <laughs> all the photos don't do it justice. Hey, we're going to go walk around and do the loop now. And we're Probably not sure not if we're whole, not going to do the whole whole thing, eh? Because no. I think there's a few different walks that you can do. So I think maybe we'll just do a bit of this one yep. and then drive around to the start of another one. And have look, I'm getting all distracted with all the trophies. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I've seen that trophy before. Legends, mate. Anyway, we're going to go do this loop. Wait, how good's this? So, hang on, I'll just jump in. <laughs> Wait till you see this, mate. So, oh my god, what am I doing? Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> so, Jess and, is it Jess and Matt? Yeah. So, Jess and Matt, thank you very much, guys. They've left a Polaroid. Oh, <laughs> so we can put it on our table. We just, That's a good photo too. How funny is that? <laughs> I pointed at that troopy as well and now they've left a Polaroid photo of them uh, for our uh, Hall of Fame. How good's that? That's so good. Oh shit. Oh. Don't want to wreck the photo. And they've <laughs> left a little note. It on. It's like half on. Thanks Jess and Matt. That's so that. heartwarming. That's so good. That is so good and it's so funny that I pointed out your troopy as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was your troopy. And guys, all the room, we just did our little walk there. And this is just one side of it, and you can see why this was such a special place. Yeah, it's insane. And, and there was one cool really, really I. cool spot, really special spot where the elders used to sit under the cave area, and they would have their fires. It was where all the elders came and um, sat and obviously told I can't their get stories. My seat built in with the with the camera. <laughs> and and they uh, they would light fires, and the whole roof of the cave is black from the fire smoke and. There's artwork everywhere. It, honestly, this place is so special. So now we're just gonna make our way over to the Olgas, I think that's what they're called, um, yeah. the other part of the National Park here. We were gonna do the other walk on the opposite side of Uluru, but I think we'll come back and do that one tomorrow morning.
All right, now this feels like we are in the center of Australia here. The, just the landscapes is incredible, eh? Yeah, crazy. I actually quite like this one a little bit more, to be honest. It's definitely With a more challenging walk. Yeah, just standing here looking at that is like, I feel like it's going to fall on top of you. <laughs> The day has really gotten away from us today. I'm really regretting that slow morning this morning. It went so quick. It was good in the moment, but uh, yeah, we wasted so much time. We power walked through the Olgas and now we're rushing back to the resort so we can yeah. check into our campsite for the night and then hopefully make it to Uluru for sunset. No, we, ha we <laughs> will make it to Uluru for sunset because I reckon the colors on that rock are gonna be spectacular. Tired, Megan? Did not sleep well last night. <laughs> there was a rooster at the free camp that I thought he was going off at 4 a.m. and then I checked my app that records and he was actually going off at 1 a.m. What a nightmare! He, he was he was not very um, he wasn't very accommodating. He was he was he was a nightmare. But we've uh, come to our sunset spot. Check it out. Check it out, guys. Whoa, that's uh, got all the camera settings wrong there, but we'll work that out. Look at that. This is the spot. It feels like when I was a uh, when I was a kid, we used to go to my dad's mum's house, my nonna's house, and we she she lives right next to a showgrounds where there's fireworks every year, and we'd go there and we'd sit and we'd wait for the uh, the big event, the fireworks to go off, and this is what it feels like. I feel like a kid again, waiting for the sunset, for that rock to light up. Are you hungry? I'm starving. Let's eat. <laughs> hey. You can just put a stock cube <laughs> in there and then you've got more soup. We're, we're contemplating if we want to put a stock cube in our soup to make it, because uh, we ate half of it last night. Well, more than half. More than half, I ate so much. We want to make it bigger, so would it be a good idea to put another stock cube in and add water? Is that what you say? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Do we have stock cubes? I think so, just vegetable ones, not chicken though. This is, uh, this is the little conversations we have with each other. Whoa, okay. what was that? Look at our dishes, we've oh, just completely given up on everything. <laughs> this is what it's really like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're having soup for dinner, and come check out. And I'm not turning the heat on that. <laughs> Have a look at what we've done, our contraption. Because we want to use the tripod to take some photos, so what we've done is we've uh, set up this little beauty on time lapse to get the rock. And uh, I promise to throw the sticky tape out when we're done with it. Can it work a treat? All right, time for some soup, eh? Hey. 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 Megan's knackered, you can tell. I'm so, I feel bad though, because I'm just like, I just, I've been looking forward to this for so long and I just have no energy, so it's a bit... Energy's gone. But oh. I'm still happy to be here, but just quietly. Maybe I'll make you hot chocolate later. Oh, a bit yeah. of sugar. <laughs> so I think I picked the worst possible spot to put the chairs, but... I'm too hungry, so I'm just gonna eat and then we'll probably move <laughs> to a better spot. But um, soup actually worked out okay. I we didn't have a stock cube after all, and I found a cup of soup. Check out the flies, eh? Um, I found an old cup of soup, and um, it's pretty good. I looked at the ingredients and it said sugar and chicken flavor. How's chicken flavor an ingredient? Don't know, so I was a bit worried, but it turned out all right. So. <laughs> Mate, the, the fly look at the flies around your soup. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna here. stop talking and I'm just gonna eat before the flies we get to my food. I've got the best view in Australia. Right I just now. said it's terrible. Well, I mean, I've got, I've oh, got <laughs> you've got a good one. I was about to swear just then. <laughs> oh, <laughs> how brilliant cam chair struck Classic. Down. I gotta put some sticky tape on that. <laughs> all right, all right. We, we'll see you in the morning, guys. See you guys.
morning. We made it down to Uluru for sunrise this morning and it was spectacular, of course. And we've just parked up where we were for our sunset last night for a bit of brekkie this morning. And we went to go stew our apples up that we have on our granola and explain what we've done, Megan. We left the gas bottle at the caravan park, so the campground. <laughs> um, we were tossing up, we all morning we were like, oh, do we want to go do the other walk or do we want to go back to the campground to have a shower? And we're like, oh my gosh, what do we do? So now the fact that we left the gas bottle there has kind of made the decision, but we have I'm not back. too mad about it because I really need to wash my hands. So end of that story, the jet boil saved the day today. <laughs> it took a long time, didn't it? Yeah, but last night was so good. And usually in these situations, a bit of behind the scenes, we will be flat out running around at sunset trying to get every single shot possible yeah. but last night we just sat on the reef and watched the sunset and it was amazing but this morning in stark contrast we have been running around like chickens with their heads cut off but it's been a good morning <laughs> <laughs> i just realized as well we got to put that photo there yeah we do so we're gonna eat some brekkie and we're gonna head to the caravan park to pick up this bloody gas bottle and uh head on with our adventure today all right, guys, we, uh, we've we unfortunately left Uluru. That was honestly the best experience mm -hmm. Megan and I have had in a very long time. There is so many flies here, oh my God. <laughs> we spent one night there, so we would recommend two or three nights for sure. One night, we, we had a ball, but we felt a little bit rushed towards the end there, especially with us, we're, we're, we're uploading to YouTube and we had to do a bit of food shopping and all that stuff, but we, uh, we did feel a little bit rushed towards the end there. Uh, so two or three days we'd recommend and you'll have an absolute ball. If you haven't seen it, you've got to get there and see it, please. Megan is absolutely knackered. She has carked it. She's in bed already and it's only 5.30 and she even fell asleep on the way here and she never does that. She never falls asleep in the car, very rarely anyway. So we, we don't know what's going on. We're, we're just knackered. So we're probably going to put the camera down again for the rest of the day and just go to sleep and get ready for tomorrow morning because we've come to this place called Morris Pass and it is absolutely stunning. Have a look where the troop is set up. It is uh, it's a view and a half, but we've come here for one reason, and that is to go see King's Canyon. We saw it on the way in, and it looks bloody awesome. So we're gonna do a little sunrise mission tomorrow morning, and uh, hopefully we wake up in time. So we'll see you in the morning, guys. Morning, sleepy head. Good morning. We're <laughs> off on our walk. <laughs> Look at all the flies on your back. It's actually raining as well. It's not what we expected. No, but, um, we. <laughs> so, if you have been traveling with us for a while, you will know that sunrise mission with us usually means we are driving to the place as the sun's rising and we always miss the sunrise. So, that's what's happened again today. <laughs> but uh, we were laying in bed and we could hear the rain, and Jack was like, nah, it's not going to be a sunrise. But then, as we were driving here, there's all these colors, so I was a bit poopy but i'm over it now little um, grumpy <laughs> we, um, <coughs> so we've rocked up to uh six tour groups <laughs> yeah we're sort of just walking a bit slowly to start off because we know one's ahead of us so we don't want to like intrude on their tour <laughs> it's about 40 people <laughs> classic i can see them all walking up the hill now but i uh, think this one so we're doing the king's canyon rim walk which is six kilometers return yeah and I was listening in to their tour information and apparently the most difficult part of the hike is right at the beginning. You gotta go up to the top and then after that it's all cruisy. It's massive, look at it. Megan, what have you got us into? It does look a bit intimidating, doesn't it? <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> This is next level. Insane, hey? I don't even know if the camera settings are right, but <laughs> I'm just pressing that button. Look at that. That is next level. The whole cliff face 
cliff face the cliff face has just fallen off and we're probably standing on the same thing whoa look over there look at that those people are standing right on it <laughs> next level anyway oh that gives me tummy turns tummy turns for some bacon and eggs <laughs> let's do you it you can't stop thinking about we're it only we halfway. don't even know if there's a cafe around all right guys we've made it back to our uh, free camp where we started this morning after our big walk today no bacon and eggs unfortunately but I did buy some from the petrol station. Yeah, Maybe how much did that cost? I think it was, I think it cost 11 bucks. But oh my God, you're joking, right? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm craving it and I want it. We saw, <laughs> Megan's gonna attempt to open the tent I can here. usually do it, why can't I do it today? Cause I need, to it. Get, I need to get in there. You can do it. Can she do it or not? <laughs> <laughs> Is that how you do it? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There it is. There's those muscles. Classic. <laughs> they need food. Yes, they need food. Anyway, guys, that's uh, next week we're heading, well, today, not next week, yeah. next episode. We're going to make this one a two, two-parter, but we're about to tackle four-wheel drive track to get to West McDonald National Park. West McDonald. Which we're really excited about, so we'll see you there next week. Make sure you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Cheers, guys. See you later.